The program you're about to watch is a unique live investigation of the supernatural. It contains material which some viewers may find to be disturbing. The switchboard was jammed with complaints, reports that children were terrified, pregnant women had gone into labour, and intelligent people felt duped. We particularly want to hear from you if you've had any personal experiences of ghosts or the supernatural. I didn't know it was a drama. Michael Parkinson is a well-respected and mature fatherly figure. Sarah Green and Mike Smith are synonymous with children's television. Uh, how destructive has the haunting actually been? It's wrecked my, my house, my home. Uh, over to you, Michael. There's a woman wrote in to the producer at the BBC and she demanded money from the BBC because her husband had actually soiled his trousers, he was so scared, and she wanted the BBC to refund her. Children, come on. No, Sarah, Sarah, stay where you are, please. Sarah, stay there, please. Don't go upstairs. The Hello Shite Podcast. Keep listening to the voices in your head. Howdy, listeners, and welcome to Hello Shite, the bad culture podcast, in which we'll be trying to hang on, Mark, bad culture. This month, we're doing Ghost Watch. That's just pure culture. That's good culture. It is. It should be in a museum. What are we going to do? Uh, I don't know, really. Have you got a plan? Yes, I do. Have you been on Nakaboosie's Naka people? No, this time I went with Richard Digence's people. Wow. They, yeah. they were cheaper. Uh, <laughs> and available. But I do have a secondary, very weekly written uh, uh, introduction, just for this kind of situation. Okay, go for it, my friend. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah, go on. Then. Howdy, listeners, and welcome to... Halloween shite. Thanks very much. Thanks, thanks Digens. <laughs> uh, the desperate vanity project of two middle-aged men from provincial England whose partners can't even be asked to listen to this dross. They really can't. They uh, couldn't be less interested. They really couldn't. We <laughs> should fire them. Um, my name is E.O. Higgins and I'm joined, as always, by the spunky ghoulie furiously smacking his pipe in the glory hole that is... Mr. Mark Green! Who are you going to call? Not you. Ghostwatch was a 90-minute film shot as part of BBC Drama's Screen One series and aired on the 31st of October 1992. Wow. Was that Halloween? 25... What? what yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? 31st of October? Yeah. 25 years ago, this very night, Mark. Yes. Don't spoil the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. For those of you unaware of the phenomena that is Ghostwatch, I shall try to explain. Good. Go for it, Ed. Airing at BBC One, uh, post-dinner time, the show purported to be a scientific look at the paranormal and accordingly used a format familiar to its audience. There was a studio section interspersing interviews with live viewer telephone calls, cut with location shooting and some investigative journalism. Well, the, you, you say investigative journalism. But, yeah. Mm, okay. I know it's fiction, but that was a bit of a stretch. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's like, what, do you think Sarah Green wasn't doing, wasn't up for the job? Now, Sarah Green's acting was good. She was very good. Mike Smith? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> All right. The television personalities are familiar too. There's a range of talent. Oh, yeah, there is uh, a range of talent. Including Michael Parkinson, yep. Mike Smitty Smith, yes. uh, Sarah Green, and Craig Charles. Wicked. And I'm right in saying that Sarah Green is married to Mike Smith. That's correct. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love See, I, weirdly enough, Ed, I am the, uh, the, the product of a Smith and a Green alignment. Oh, really? I am, actually, oh. yes. <laughs> That's nice. So when I say I've worked in TV before, I think I'll leave it at that. Ed. Thank you very much. That explains your incredible uh, uh, lack uh, of professionalism, <laughs> incredible skills with a microphone. Mike. <laughs> okay, yeah. Actually, um, uh, the late Mike. Mark, uh, he's not dead. Yeah, he is. Is he dead? Yeah, he died. Yeah. When? A couple of years in 2014. No way. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's actually come as a shock. Well, all right. Well, I watched it. There was a program on BBC Four last night. And um, uh, props to the to the to the Mike Smithy Smith. He was um, it was it was a program about uh, HIV and AIDS. Um, keep it light. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But he was one of the uh, the front runners in the uh, the kind of getting that story out. 
Wow, uh, really? So, well, well done, Mike Smitty Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 R.I.P. I, I genuinely didn't know he was dead. Yeah, I know he died in yeah, 2014, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm actually oh, gutted yeah. now. Yeah. I feel, I feel bad now for saying his acting was shit. Anyone living in 1990s Britain would naturally look at so impressive a lineup and fancy that they were in safe hands. I'd agree with that, Ed. Not so. No, they, they hoodwinked a lot of people, they didn't did they? They did hoodwink. Yeah. Nice use of the word, hoodwink. Now, if you've included this later, I do apologise, but wasn't this the most complained about BBC show ever? Uh, I don't know about that, but there was... It was yeah, highly there complained was, about, was, though, right? Uh, well, I imagine it must have been, because I think there was 30,000... I think, yeah, it was in the tens of thousands, or wasn't something. It? Yeah, it was ridiculous, yeah. Um, I think I read that on yeah, Wikipedia. Was that related to Mark Smith's acting? No, 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 okay, no, 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 they, they loved that. Yeah. Everyone loved that. <laughs> After an introduction by Michael Parkinson blandly intoning about haunted houses no longer having creaking gates, gothic towers or shutter windows, we cut to an outside broadcast. So it's a bit weird that Parkinson is not selling us something. Yeah. But bear in mind this is Ghost Watch. Yeah. Ghost Watch equals death, right? Yeah. Why is he not, you know, I'm surprised he's not giving it the old Parker pen, you know, the, over, the guaranteed life plan, the, your funeral costs will be taken care well, of. There is a fancy future pen that turns up in the, oh, there is they, this, they scribble the, on a, yeah, they scribble on a, 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 a light, light pen or something. Yeah, you know? I thought, oh, oh yeah, right, yeah, I was going to go laser pen, but yeah. it's a light pen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> good times, good times. Mm. Uh, Sarah and Craig have been summarily dispatched to the North Holt home of Pamela Early and her two young girls, Kim and Suzanne. Can I just say there's a lovely kind of 18 montage here of the crew leaving? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> got all the good. cable, there's a guy called Colin putting it on the back of a lorry. Lovely. <laughs> all right. That is good. No, I like that bit. <laughs> I do as well. <laughs> right, okay, good. <laughs> that, a house is somewhat unusual though, Mark. For why? Because it's occupied by a poltergeist. Well, you say poltergeist. I do, yeah. <laughs> okay, but we know differently. Not my words. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarah wastes no time in getting to the crux of the matter and ponders messy rooms and other such hard evidence of poltergeist activity. Uh, Ed, you seem to have skipped over a piece here that we're, we introduced to the crew. Oh, uh, right. So we've got the guy on the camera, and he can uh, turn it infrared, obviously. That's right, yeah. yeah he's yeah, very good yeah, at that. Yeah, and yeah. he can run very fast, apparently. He can keep up with Sarah Green. Any impressions he can do? No, no, it's the sound man that can oh. do the impressions. He turns out that he's, he can do a very good Aid Edmondson. Right, Tom! <laughs> he does that really yeah, well. He does that really well. Uh, anyway, excellent. I like their Ghost Watch t shirts, so we should get them. And we? lanyards as well. Uh, lanyards? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'd love a good lanyard. I think we lanyard. could probably make them for about 20p. <laughs> well, let's do it. <laughs> I'm not sure the budget extends to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, she also flicks through one of the girls' school copy books, which contains etchings of the ghost. Yeah, uh, that was quite a crap drawing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but did you notice that someone on the prop team had drawn a willy on it as well? <laughs> I didn't see that. I wish yeah. I had. There's what people in my school we used to call a bomb head. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Which nice. was the uh, penis with the uh, shooting, uh, uh. Uh, shooting seminal fluid. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that, Ed. <laughs> and the pubes, so the base. Oh, well, carry on, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. We got an E rating anyway, because yeah, yeah, you decided yeah, yeah. to call it Hello Shite. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, we like our E rating, don't we? We do. The Hello Shite Halloween special. Coming in your ears like warm ectoplasm. Outside, Craig, foam-tipped microphone in hand and puffed up like an owl in his NFL-branded finery. Chicago Bulls. Nice. Yeah. Uh, pounds the streets, talking to a collection of middle-aged women in <laughs> shell suits about their own ghostly experiences. It's just the bit where they go to the park. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, they get to the park, don't they, and there's a few ghostly stories. Yeah. Um, uh, so the, 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 it was something about a dog or something like that, and the fetus is being... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Yeah, he that bit quite, was horrible actually. Well, he seemed quite I'd forgotten how horrible that bit was. That was quite nasty. I was quite surprised about it because I generally I've forgotten about that. Yeah, piece, yeah. I think. But Craig Charles, with his cheeky sort of scouse charm, <laughs> just brushes it off and goes, Right, I'm going to go and see the guy now. Fetuses <laughs> thrown across the playground. Perfect. And then he goes meets. Then he uh, he finishes with the ladies, doesn't he? And then he um, he, he goes and meets the guy that's the train driver. Mm. Stroke spiritualist. He's spiritualist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That was good. It was uh, good. Stephen Volk appears in that scene. Oh, is he the writer? He's hidden in the background. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah yeah, 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 fair enough. Back in the studio, Parkinson now sits imposingly in his big chair, <laughs> apparently coordinating efforts uh, and recommending that viewers phone in on the telephone number provided if they witness anything spooky or unusual, giving the lucky audience the chance to wax spiritual with Mike Smith 
who's heading up the call centre. Yeah, he's, he's not got a big job in this, really, is no, he? No, not really. I mean, his wife's outside doing the, you know, the rover well, and he's, he's, he's stuck about You seem office. to think that's a good idea. <laughs> that he's, that, that's the that's case. <laughs> Actually, probably, yeah. You're not loving his acting props. No, so. What I'd really like, every time he cut to a scene of me, he, he kind of had that look on his face and say, oh, I've got to look like I'm busy. <laughs> and <Yeah>. then... <laughs> he's yeah. clutching some files. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh, it's a quality setup. However... Not all is what it seems, Mark. Why is not that, Ed? For whilst Parky talks to uh, Sarah and Craig via an apparent live l- uh, video link, yeah. the outside scenes were in fact recorded six weeks earlier. Were they? Yeah. Are, are they trying to fool the public, Ed? But it's almost like they're trying to fool yeah, the public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is a credit to the scriptwriter Stephen Volk, however, that he's managed to perfectly replicate all the boring shite <laughs> and poor quality ad living that one would expect from a live TV show going slightly askew. What I like about that is when they have trouble hearing, they put their finger in their ear. Yeah. And that seems to clarify everything, apparently. <laughs> well, you know, professionals. <laughs> uh, for the first 45 minutes, almost nothing happens at all, Not adding really, to yeah. a, greater se- uh, a greater sense of tedious reality to the proceedings. After all, who would pre record footage of Sarah Green and Craig Charles? Titting about, talking rubbish. <laughs> well, it doesn't he hide in the cupboard one stage with a face oh, mask as well? That's that's a good bit. And uh, you know, beast. We, yeah. Well, we meet the quite boring family at this stage as well. Yeah. You know, there's the two daughters and the mum. Yeah, yeah. She she she's got this weird Cockney accent almost. You know. I thought she was quite good. No, she was quite good, but she had a kind of Cockney accent, which is really weird. It was kind of like she was the scullery maid, and the children were really posh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't quite get that. Well, uh, you know, child, child actors, you get me you. Get your paper, didn't you? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they probably they, came from that. What's that school? Oh, area? oh uh, Italia Conte. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably yeah, came yeah. from there. So you know. Uh, anyway, great dancers. Yes. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> things change. Parky interviews uh, uh, Lynn Pasco, Dr. Lynn Pasco, yes. a parapsychologist who has made an in-depth study of the Early's predicament and believes that there's definitely a supernatural explanation. Parky. Well, Listens to her spiel with a vague look of hostility. <laughs> He's mildly patronising to her, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Mildly. Uh, yeah, at another stage, I mean, it's a bit further on, but obviously the, she gets discredited a little bit about that stage. And it, it doesn't go well for her, at which point he's just like, why don't you just give it up, love? You're clearly stupid. <laughs> Bloody, he's doing his Roger Moore. <laughs> Women, <laughs> they won. I knew she wouldn't be able to work it out. <laughs> oh, I gave her a moment. <laughs> yeah, her a moment in the sun. Look, Lana, look what's happened. I've listened to you for at least twelve minutes. Get now. off. Yeah. You don't deserve to be in that chair, woman. <laughs> uh, we cut to Smithy, who's got a live one on the phones. There's a woman from Slough demanding to speak to Doctor Pasco. Yeah. About one of the pictures of the girls' bedrooms we saw earlier in the program. Oh, okay. Hmm. That did seem extraneous at the time. The caller is adamant that in the video there is a figure standing in the room. Despite Dr. Pascoe's protestations, we see the picture again, and there's clearly a ghostly figure standing by the curtains. I, I agree. I think I could see a ghostly yeah, figure yeah. at this stage. But just to clarify the situation, mm. they wheel out the uh, Supertron 10,000 <laughs> um, TV stroke, you know, light pen, light pen setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was a marvel of modern technology. Oh, it really no. was. It literally only weighed three tonnes. <laughs> That's amazing what they've done. Bring out that lovely technology. <laughs> yeah, yes. It cuts to Dr. Pasco as she examines it on the monitor and then cuts back to the picture again. And this time, there's no one there. Okay, so I got confused here. Right. Because I thought it had gone and then it had come back and vice versa. Oh. So obviously they did that on purpose. They did. I was the stupid person they were they trying to target They are messing with. with your mind, They Mark were. Green. They was messed. Mark Green, then yeah. listen with your mind, <laughs> specifically your mind, Mark yes. Green. EO Higgins and Mark Green, faces for audio. Now things really begin to cook. A damp patch is discovered in the early's <laughs> front room, requiring a lot of experts to rush in and do experty things such as prod it and take away some samples to a lab. Well, the, the lounge carpet. That's, that's right. The lounge carpet is sort of crop circle. That's right. I mean, only available in a 90s carpet with a shag pile at least an inch high. <laughs> Sarah runs to a French window, apparently freaked out by the sound of some cats fighting. I think the real horror here, mate, is yeah. all those uh, those doilies on the sofa. I mean, really? Who would do that? It was the 90s, my friend. Oh, <laughs> the title sequence is not pretty, is this? No, no, no. That's, that's aged slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Craig turns up his capering by a good 60% and leaps out of a closet. 
Oh, it is edge of the seat stuff, my friend. A terrible banging starts upstairs in the house and Sarah freaks out. Mrs. Early shrugs it off. This is apparently an everyday occurrence. It sounds quite a lot like the central heating problems, which is exactly why she's nicknamed the ghost Mr. Pipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So effectively this day, he's a dodgy pump. That's right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, according to the girls in the house, Mr. Pipe sometimes watches them when they're in bed, but spends most of his time lurking uh, in a cupboard under the stairs, which has been mysteriously dubbed the glory hole. <laughs> and, I love that bit. Yeah, and subsequently I, boarded up. I mean, to be honest with you, it's too easy to make jokes about that. It really is. <laughs> I joke to think what Pipes is doing in there. Uh, since this is a thorough and scientific study of the supernatural activity, yeah. which should be clear from the fact that Craig Charles is on board, obviously, uh, as an attempt to get final clinching proof of the supernatural, yeah. there are video cameras mounted in every room of the house, Mark. Including the child's room? In, yeah, yeah. yeah no, you wouldn't be allowed to these no, days, would you? no, 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 no. But just when we think Mr. Pipes is unwilling to play ball, the sound of banging suddenly intensifies, and it's coming from the landing outside the girl's bedroom. Mm. Spooling back the relevant videotape, hoping to see Mr. Pipes, we are in fact shown footage of nothing more than Susan Early smacking a metal bar off the does boiler. This, so, Ed, um, I'm not an expert on these matters, as you probably appreciate. Right. Uh, but it does seem like a lot like the Enfield hauntings. Yes, and I think Guy Lyon Playfair, who yeah. is the the bloke that was the guy writing the book, who wrote the book about uh, in the film. Okay, I'll take your word for that, yeah. Good name, though. Yes, Guy, good, Guy yeah. Lyon Playfair. He sounds like he's a member of a club. Yeah, you know, yeah. So uh, she got caught doing this. Yeah. And uh, she wasn't very good at covering her tracks, really, was she? Not really, no. Because when Sarah Green went to comfort her, yeah. uh, she had the hammer in her hand. Well, yeah, but it's Sarah, lovely Sarah Green. Well, I, I think it's Sarah's more kind of a carer here because the mum's buggered off to the van. She's probably having a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. I've got Sarah Green. Really listening to that guy's hilarious Adrian <laughs> Edmondson impression. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, she's kind of left the kids alone. Well, she never gets old. And Sarah Green, the super parent, yeah. she's looking after the kids. Do you want a packet of crisps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah, another yeah, Coke? Yeah. yeah. Do you, oh, You've got a There's a lovely set. moment where they make tea together. There is, yeah. Coffee, I milk, that. Yeah, yeah, that's milk, good. That was a nice and she, then the little girl has um, a stomach issue. Yeah. So she, she makes the antacids or the Andrews oh, antacids or whatever. Say it was. A green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, mm. there's a spooky moment there with an issue with the tap. It's just a bad bit. What of was fun. the moment? What was the moment with the tap? So she goes to make the girl the little drink to yeah, her yeah. stomach and stuff, and the tap won't come on. <gasps> and obviously, it's spooky. Yeah. And then it just suddenly comes on. Okay. I mean, it's not a, a bad was kind it, was of. Was it just because it was a set? Uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. I think the guy outside pumping wasn't pumping hard <laughs> enough. <laughs> oh well. Um, anyway, we Parkinson after seeing this girl. Oh, seeing seeing Susan early smacking the metal bar. Yeah. Park, he needs to see no more. No. He's... Instantly disparaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lays into Doctor Pasco for a rubbish views on the supernatural. Yeah. In fairness, he's been building up for this for quite a while. He's had it in for her from day one, really, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yes. He concludes that... Uh, he's not that a fan of her work, is she's, he? She's, she's just the victim of a hoax perpetrated <laughs> by the girls. Yeah, exactly. So just to further discredit her, yeah. uh, they uh, called up the American guy on the video conferencing yeah. system. I'm not convinced he was in America, Ed. <laughs> there was a very rubbish sort of like, screen at the back. I mean, obviously they got the fact that it was dark there. Great, oh, no. but now he doesn't believe anything. No. He, he thought it was all real earlier. <laughs> and he just mocks the poor woman, doesn't yeah, he? He's exactly. like, well, you know, basically you don't know what you're doing, you know. But is she going to be right at the end? Well, I don't know, but the, the, the good thing is she doesn't. She holds her ground. Yeah. She's very scientific well, about it. Well, if you've got that peach coloured top on. Oh, yes. Uh, the, you know. And that lovely brooch. Yeah. Horseshoe shaped. <laughs> Beautiful. She's very good. Uh, Pasco splutters on, explaining that this is perfectly normal. Since poltergeists clearly target uh, adolescents, their subjects often try and prove that they aren't making making it up by faking it. Yeah, this is a, that's a rubbish system. Yeah, this is this is where I kind of have the problem with the ghost issue in general. What's that? One? It's, it's kind of if you don't believe, it's because you don't believe because you've been told to don't believe. Right. And I don't really get that. I didn't get any of that. The, he's not a ghost by making you think he is a ghost. No, you pretend that the. You pretend you make up stuff because yeah. you want to people to believe in the ghost, but then the ghost isn't doing that stuff. Yeah, but the ghost is doing that stuff. No, he's doing different stuff. He's doing different but stuff. You, you want? Oh God! Oh, we can't explain this. this it's complicated. It's too much science for us. Yeah. yeah. E. O. Higgins and Mark Green. 
If there's something strange in your neighbourhood, they're probably out fly tipping. Cutting back to the house for Sarah Green to say her last goodbyes to the studio audience, it would appear that it has not gone well. No uh, longer is she boring members of the production crew by pointing out they look like Mike Gatting. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, <laughs> instead, she's dodging flying furniture and listening to Susan Early spout nursery, nursery rhymes in a demonic male voice. It, it happens every t- you know, it's quite a regular occurrence in my house. Right, okay. What? Susan Early comes around, doesn't she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> With a mildly cockney voice. <laughs> Sexy guy. Uh, but the, uh, ever the professional. Sarah moves the story on, heading out to what she believes is the source of the troubles. Yeah. What's that, Mark? Is that the glory hole? It's the glory hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm Sarah Green... bring a glory hole into this and then so not... So Sarah Green heads straight for the glory hole. <laughs> gotcha. You know it. No wonder Smith is shitting here, but in the, uh, in the studio there. I wonder he looks nervous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as assorted, uh, assorted furnishings and ornaments crash down around her, Sarah edges towards the hallway when suddenly the picture... <laughs> cuts out yeah it does doesn't it yeah and it, it, it's all confusion now oh back in the studio the monitors have all gone blank they have the television connections are dead even the clocks have stopped parky's unruffled that's 20 years in the business for you <laughs> yes. he's the consummate professional i mean also as well he, he obviously we don't want Oy, to lynn pasco make me a cup of tea with your love <laughs> yeah, put the kettle. there's no power i don't care sort it <laughs> I mean, interesting enough as well is that, uh, so this is, in my view, this is not proof that a ghost exists yet. <laughs> right. It's proof of a power failure. Right. So, that's what I'm saying. Well, well. Uh, Dr. Pascoe's looking shaky. Not as shaky as Smitty, who's probably wondering how a simple task of heading up a telephone <laughs> call centre could possibly have gone so badly. Oh, it's like the late, late breakfast show all over again. <laughs> <It is. laughs> He's in charge of a lot of staff. <laughs> They're probably getting calls about Watchdog or something like that. You know, I, I, I bought this shirt and it's not quite perfect. Must be ghosts, right? Yeah. yeah, it could happen. After some minutes, anxiety and confusion, suddenly the monitors blink back on again, uh, as though, uh, um, but they have no sound. Mm. But it seems as though life has returned to normal in the house. Yeah, so I, I did clock this immediately. Did you? I did, yeah. I'm oh, not you're spoil good. It. I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah. But everyone's kind of very like, okay, that's fine. Everyone's you always get, you always work out who does it in Colombo as well, from very early on, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, so oh, okay, so what, what what gave it away, Mark? Well, I think what gave it away is that I do remember this, the the Sarah Green filling up the the kids' drink and then playing the cards earlier. Ah, uh, oh, I, is it actually it is actually footage from earlier on. Though? It is, yeah, yeah, because they've got oh, this thing right. called a memory ed. Um, right. Why did I used it? I'd remembered it and then recalled it. I was, I, you know, I was just looking at Parky. <laughs> yes. Thinking, Starting thinking one day, one day. Thinking about his very reasonable life cover plans <laughs> and how I get um, a par- how I get, how I get a that pen. pen. Yeah. Uh, indeed, everyone in the house is happily ensconced in a game of cards. Even Smitty can s- uh, breathe a sigh of relief as the telephones have started working again. He even relaxes enough to put another caller through. Well, he's uh, he's got to be he's doing PPI as That's well on the side here, so <laughs> <laughs> he got a bit nervous when the phones went. He's lost hundreds hundreds of pounds by this he stage. He does look a bit overworked. He's clutching <laughs> a lot of papers. <laughs> I know it's the nineties and stuff, but fucking Sarah, <laughs> be at home. Yes. <laughs> Why does she get the screen working, time? Working out. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, this is uh, it's a retired social worker. Do you remember this bit? Oh, I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Well, he claims to have visited the Early's house. Yeah. Several years ago to see a lodger who used to live there. Yeah. A man by the name of Raymond Tunstall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While staying at the house, Tunstall was apparently went mad and developed paranoid delusions. Well, didn't his uncle and aunt, or wherever he stayed with, leave for a bit of period of time, and he was left by himself? Yeah. Because it was 12 days till they found his body or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did he die again? Uh, I don't know. He, he was wearing a dress and got a bad eye. <laughs> so, that's, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, I like the way they camped that up a little bit. So he started wearing dresses. He, he turns up in an episode of The Simpsons. I think like, he tried to trip with that. Yeah, does he? That's, that's quite, yeah. No, there's a well, connection. Well done, there. Ghost Watch. Uh, but he, he um, so he kills himself with a lathe or something, and then puts a rope around it. And it tightens around his neck, and he kills himself. Oh right, okay. Much like Michael Hutchinson, I think. Spoilers, mate. Spoilers. I thought. Do you I, think he was having sexy business? I think he was. He, he was. In, I think he was into the uh, the asphyxiation. 
in his glory hole. Uh, well, that, that would make a lot more sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I, I missed that. I think you're working at a different level to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not sure if that's a higher level. No, 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 no. Anyway, Tarsal apparently went mad and developed paranoid delusions. Uh, and he's been taken over by an old woman who forced him to wear dresses mm. and hurt people. Yeah, that does happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that happened to you back yeah. in the 90s as well, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that yeah. was a bad week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in order to escape his tormentor, he hanged himself in the cupboard under the stairs. The glory hole! The yeah. glory hole! It's all about the glory hole. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, it was his little workshop as well, apparently, under the stairs. <laughs> right. I love it, fact, this house doesn't look like he's been there that long. <laughs> I mean, I know they said... It looked a bit 90s. I mean, they, immediately they say, yeah, it was in the 60s and stuff like that, but who had a bloody workshop underneath their stairs? Raymond Tunstall. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's dressed. Yeah, yeah okay. W- working <laughs> it, working it. Well, it's not very safe working on a lathe with a dress, is it? I mean, it's, it's a bit like, you know, you get it caught up eventually, I think. <laughs> um, Parkinson, well, you should see the beads getting in the mechanism. Oh, <laughs> oh exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, and Parkinson chuckles at this toll story. Oh, yeah. the arrogance. Well, uh, Dr. Pascal verifies this as well. He, he yeah. sort of tests her and says, well, actually, very arrogantly, yeah. we've done loads of work to assess this stuff, but don't worry, the right's taken care of this, Ed, because it was illegal subletting, so it wouldn't have been reported, so she would not have been aware of it. There you go. Sweet. You see? You see? that It all joins up now. It does. Um, uh, turning to the camera, uh, Parkinson starts his crime watch style. Please don't have nightmares. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very rare. Style yeah. lo- uh, wrap up line. Mm. Only to be interrupted by Dr. Pasco, who's noticed something odd that Mark noticed earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's finally clocked well, on to the fact that the, you know. It's finally? Been, yeah, yeah. You're even being arrogant about her. Well, I am. <laughs> chuffing obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Well, I didn't notice Lynn Pasco. And this may come as a surprise to you, Ed. I'm not scientifically trained either. What? Well, I did work that out. I'm as scientifically trained as Craig Charles. <laughs> I'm in that area, yeah. Are you going to pinch him in my house? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to leap out of a thing and go, Beast! (laughs) One of the pictures that flew off the uh, living room wall earlier uh, in the evening seems to be back in place. Yeah, it's totally back in place and the room looks lovely. Well, they might have picked it up. They might have done and just put it back on the wall again. Yeah. I mean, why it's not? It's not unreasonable, is no, it? No, the picture didn't break. Where did that mean? picture come from up there? Yeah, exactly. Back up there, then. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. I mean, I mean, you know, if she's got this wrong, yeah. Marky's going to be looking at her like... <laughs> That's oh, a career oh, again. Yeah. The book sounds have definitely dropped how do you think it well? How do you think it went, love? Not well. <laughs> no, not well. No. <laughs> <laughs> Parky says give up. <laughs> Get us a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. Two sugars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this can only mean one thing. Well, it might mean one thing. It might mean well, no, I think it's a very obvious conclusion here that the ghost is in the in the machine now, right? Oh, but I used that later. Oh, did you? You bitch. Oh, yeah. sorry. But that is the, that is the obvious conclusion. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? Oh no, the obvious conclusion is that the tape's looping. We've done this twice now. I'm confused. Last, last week you stole a piece of my lines. <laughs> I've not read your script. Yeah, I don't know. True, it's true. No, it's well, well obviously. Well, the Mike... Akabusa tipped me off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Akabusa. <laughs> Boom! Awooga! <laughs> <laughs> the Hello Shite Halloween special. Mr. Pipes has entered the glory hole. This can only mean one thing. Yeah, maybe one thing. Maybe some other things. And what's that? Uh, that the images are not live, Mark. Really? So, what is happening at the house? So, nothing is live in this show that's yeah. not live. Yeah. So, the pictures that are live are not live. That's right. In a non live show. Yep. Yeah. Just. But then the next bit, it just sort of cuts back to the house. It so does, yeah, got, yeah, yeah. If everything's broken there, how are they cutting back to that? I have no idea. Yeah, interesting. Uh, cutting back to the un- uh, unconscious bodies of various members of the production team yep. are now being carted out the front door on stretchers. Mm. Despite this, another cameraman is dispatched to find Sarah, ha- carefully deploying the infrared lens that yeah, was shown yeah, yeah, earlier yeah. in the programme. Hmm, that did seem extraneous at the time. Yeah, well, they hadn't used it till then either, really, yeah. had they? So it's quite convenient that that was available to them. So Sarah bravely uh, steals his lighter, uh, exactly. locates a torch. Yep, yep, yep. And a uh, very big torch, actually. Yep. Didn't look like it fit in the drawer that she took it out of, but I'm not going to worry about that. No, don't worry about that. We're in infrared, anything can happen. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, then they go exploring, don't they? She's trying to find a little girl because she's disappeared. That's correct. Heading back indoors through the swirling kaleidoscope of night vision, mm. accompanied with much Silence of the Lambs style uh, heavy breathing. Well, it's much like Predator when you think about it, without any menace. Yeah. <laughs> There's menace. There's a, oh, there's, okay, right, yeah. there's a guy in a dress killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So, can I just bring you back a bit? Because I'm yep. a bit lost where we are now. 
Am I right in thinking as well when they first open the glory hole? Yeah. That they, there's a quick flash shot of the man. There is. In a dress, probably? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you were saying as well, he appears in loads he's, of different he scenes. Appears in, he appears in about, uh, I think it's eight or something, eight, eight to ten shots. Oh, wow. Okay. There's one in the kitchen where yeah, yeah. Uh, you see him in the reflection I on the I thought I see, I wasn't uh, sure I saw uh, that. And he's in a crowd scene. Yeah, where You sort yeah, of yeah. see him in the background when uh, Craig's doing some of his uh, Vox Pops. And yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wow, that's right, really good, actually. Yeah, I'm sure there must be somewhere online where you can see all of them. Yeah, the, probably. I'm sure there must be a YouTube. I mean, that or presumably the person who wrote the script did the research, so they would know this, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, he, I'm sure he knows. Yeah, yeah well, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like he's, a probably, wa- he's now. probably watched it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, of course, the other writer as well, the Volk guy. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Volk, yeah. yeah. Did you say they got in contact with you or something? No, he, uh, his wife wrote to oh. Hello Shite and told yeah, us yeah. this had to be good. Oh. So, Does she not really know what type of show I don't think she's listened to the show before, Mark. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think she understands the kind of operation we're running here. <laughs> no, I don't think she has. Uh, maybe she's been confused. Well, that, with that's a, a big ask, Patricia. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're doing our best, but uh, it's probably not going to be good enough. Yeah, I, I agree with that, yeah. Okay, then we're now. As the door swings open, the camera captures a split-second ver- vision of pipes in his dress. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before swinging shut again. Taking Sarah with it, as she as her screams ring out, the camera signal suddenly breaks up. Back in the studio, Parkinson is so shocked for the events in the house, he's literally sat forward in his chair. Also, he's getting a bit of wind machine action here as well, isn't he? Yeah. I think his hair's moving by this stage. <laughs> I mean, Smithy must be doing his nut by now as well. <laughs> well, he's he's, on, he's got a lot of phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty thousand an hour. Yeah. No wonder he looks so knackered. I was tempted to ring the phone number, but obviously it wouldn't work now. Uh, the lights suddenly dim, mm. and for a minute the studio is left in shadow. It's enough to cause instant panic with the production crew. Uh, they're as superstitious as sailors down at television. <laughs> <television. Yes. laughs> and especially Mike Smith, who's just apparently watched his wife die on prime time yeah, television. Yeah, yeah. Suddenly, Doctor Pasco realizes what's going on. By bringing all those cameras into the house, they've started a nationwide seance. Oh, shit. Oh, it's, so, you, it's so obvious yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, right, did you sort of think about this? <laughs> I mean, Yuri Geller must be sort of like sitting at home going, well, I told so. Lynn Pascoe, you fucked up again, love. Unbelievable, oh, actually. Oh, yeah. how, how annoyed is Par- uh, Parky going to be now? Oh, he's going to be so angry with her. Bloody, you didn't even realise, Will. <laughs> that was going to happen. <laughs> What type of doctor Where's are you? Where's my tea? <laughs> uh, faced with the awful truth and fully realising his own, her own part in it, she runs from the building, leaving Parkinson to carry on on his own. Yeah, he, and he does this brilliantly. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's good, doesn't he? The Parkinson? studio is literally falling apart around him. And yeah. He doesn't move. He's at, he's at camera. He's pointing the camera. And, oh well, there uh, seems to be some drama going on, and I'm going to carry on. <laughs> in my your, your Parky impressions as good as mine. There are Hello Shred listeners out there that yeah. have said. And made a very bad claim that you only do things that you can do impressions of. Yeah. This proves them wrong. You really can't do a parky. You really can't. <laughs> oh. And your Sarah Green oh. is awful. Yeah, the, my Craig Charles is A1. <laughs> um, after a moment's gibbering, uh, Parkinson stands up and wanders aimlessly around the studio floor. Since the cameras are unmanned, the lucky viewer gets to, treated to three minutes of Parky's navy. Uh, trouser crotch <laughs> yes. moving in and out of focus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly the auto cue turns up, uh, uh, turns on again, and almost automatically he begins to read. Yes, he's just like he's programmed for Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been in the business a long time. He I has, think. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So w- what's he reading, Mark? Uh, he's reading that nursery rhyme. Pipes yes. nursery rhyme. It's a bit like he's been possessed. It, it is a bit like that. Yeah. Uh, finally, it's clear the ghost. Is in the machine. Yes. According to the Wikipedia article on Ghostwatch, uh, in the weeks running up to the BBC airing the show, the corporation was worried about the effect it would have on the British public. Right, you saw it. Very well, yeah. As it turned out, and very nearly cancelled the screening. Well, I'm kind of glad they didn't really, because it was gold. But you knew it was you knew it was fake, didn't you? What you were talking about <laughs> earlier today? <laughs> no, <laughs> right. <laughs> but I knew it was. Are you fake. on drugs, Mike? <laughs> So many people called the television hotline that the majority have spent hours listening to the engaged tone, <laughs> thus failing to hear the message pointing out that this wasn't real. Really? 
and a lot of suggestible viewers, or possibly mad or attention-seeking viewers, <laughs> actually claimed to have ex- uh, to experience supernatural activity as a result of seeing Ghost Watch. Did they ring in so their watches stopped working and uh, uh, their microwave kept pinging? That's the sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it's really weird. Uh, it was like my doors kept opening. My my phone rang. My dog wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made a wolfy noise. Much of this involves uh, things that would seem otherwise fairly commonplace phenomena, mm. such as clocks stopping and the movement and movement in curtains. Yeah. But one inventive uh, viewer <laughs> actually attacked his wife and blamed that on the show. Really? Yeah. Wow. Clearly, in the days before Jeremy Kyle, uh, <laughs> yes, a certain yeah. strata of the British public was struggling to find proper outlets. Yes, I think you're right there. Yes. <laughs> Still, for those of us who were interested in the supernatural. Uh, at a young age, mm. although I was 15 in 1992. I don't believe you were 15. <laughs> yeah, but in fairness, I was pretty much 40 then. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, and loads of books about ghosts and shit. Uh, I've got to say, the Ghost Watch actually delivered. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a very good show, actually. It was, it was amazing. And uh, sadly, these days, what have the kids got, Mark? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. They've got, uh, they've they've got, got a vet fielding. And Derek Akora yeah. scrutinising bits of dust floating yeah. around the, <laughs> yeah. the halls, the corridors of stately homes, and calling them orbs. And they're making, uh, making at least six series based on absolutely nothing. You're listening to Hello Shite. Go home and rethink your life. Thank you very much for listening again. Lovely, 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 lovely listeners. Thank you. you get more lovelies in there every week. Yeah, I'm a lovely guy. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, if you do want to get in contact with us, then you can do so. How can they do so, Mark? They can do it by Twitter. Twitter at yes. hello underscore shite. You can do the Facebooks. Uh, at slash hello shite. You can also just email us. At hello at hello shite dot com. That works a lot better than I thought. Yeah, yeah, we do that every week. Thank you for listening. Thanks, guys. Ed, what are we doing out here? Been out for 12 hours, been walking for ages, my feet are absolutely killing me. Hey, you know why we're here. We're doing a ghost hunt that someone on Twitter has told us we have to do. So, we're, you know. Slave to the fans as we are, we're doing that. Why the hell have you made me carry all this gear? I've got a thermal imaging camera on my back. It weighs an absolute ton. This is a, this isn't even a visual medium. What the hell are you thinking? Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought that. Geez. Oh well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Look, as soon as we find the pub, then we'll know exactly what the deal is. Uh, Signor Robos, twenty-one, on 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 Twitter has said that the blue muscle in Dartmoor. Uh, is is amazingly haunted. We've got to get down there and we've got to check it out for the fans. Find out what it's like, Mark. Ed, is it the light over there? If we just get up over this hill... <coughs> what the hell was that? Oh, sorry, I just trod on some cat. Oh, for God's sake, it scared the absolute crap out of me. Sorry about that, yeah. Ed, where have you gone? What the hell is this? Why is there a cupboard here? Whoa! <laughs> Beast! Oh, for God's sake, Ed, why have you jumped out of a cupboard in the <laughs> middle of Dartmoor with, with a Craig Charles well, bloody mask on? Mate, you found a cupboard in the middle of Dartmoor, you do that as well. Ed, Ed, I think that's just it over there. I can hear the music. It seems like quite a lively place. Yeah, I know, it sounds good. I love those Oasis tracks. This is a bit weird, Mark. I'm not liking this, Ed. It's weird. Shall I just, just go and get some drinks? Get the yeah, normal yeah, drinks yeah. in, yeah? The normal, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, barman. Uh, oh. Can I, uh, can I order some drinks, please? Can I get a, a skull, uh, a snowball, and two packets of all scratchings? Oh. Ed, I think we're okay now. We're fitted in. We've got a few drinks in our hands now. We're fine. All right, boys. Uh, hello? I see you're a massive uh, Chicago Bulls fan with your NFL padded jacket there and your friends wearing a Victorian ladies dress. Are you boys from London, perhaps? Well, actually, I'm from Letchworth. Oh, right. that's not London, then, is it? Well, I think you find it nearly is. No, it's not. Anyway, uh, what are you boys coming here for? 
Well, we're from the uh, we're from Team Shite, and we've heard this is the most haunted pub in the UK. So we're here to investigate that. Oh. So actually, uh, you could really help us out. I've got, if you don't mind. Uh. -huh. Uh, could you tell me and my friend where to find the glory hole? The glory hole. Yes, the the glory hole. We've been asked to ask for that specifically. I see. Ian, play twenty one on the jukebox. God, Ed, I don't think this is the right place, Ed. I want to go. This is going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs>